Hi everyone, welcome back to Engineer with Musa. This is Mohammed. Today we're going to be talking about how we can get a, a figure or a plot that looks something similar to what we have coming up shortly. So for example, we get a, a map of the world and we want to isolate a few cities such as Dongola, um, Khartoum, Omdurman, and we just want to isolate it from the rest of the world, for example, for the use of a research paper or article or something of that nature. Um, you can use this MATLAB code to get this image. So let's go ahead and jump into what we need to do in order to get this wonderful image. The first thing we want to do, obviously, is can clear our memory and our workspace. Then what we want to do is actually um, open up an Excel sheet. And in this Excel sheet, you can see to my to my left, um, if I just open this up here, you'll see that I have a few columns and a few rows, each containing data. And the first column, I actually have just, you know, all of my city names. Then on the next column, I have all of the latitude coordinates of these cities, followed by the longitudinal coordinate of these cities. And to the, to the very right, I have just the estimated population of each of these cities. So, Omdurman has about 1.2 million, um, Khartoum has about 1.9 million, and Dongola has, you know, roughly 13,000 people. So, anyway, we go back and we have an Excel with this information that we can get online. And now we want to actually start defining a variable based off of our data. So basically for the city, we want to grab everything from the first column. Right here, the latitudes, everything on the second column, longitudes, everything on the third column, and so forth. So that's how I have data of all the rows in the second column, third column, first column. And then what we want to do next is initialize a couple of variables. So we want to initialize a latitude variable and a longitude variable. Um, this is basically, you know, when we go into the iterative process over here, we want to have just, you know, some empty vectors. So that's what, you know, we have a, a zero vector of a position um, for the latitude and longitude. Now, we jump ahead to the algorithm here, which is our for loop. So we want to say, well, from uh, i going from 1 to the height of main city name, and uh, main city name that has 8 numbers, yes, 8 by 1 table. So main city name, this variable here, basically just has all of our names. We want to define a latitude longitude and text name so text name is just a fancy way of you know shortening this this variable the next thing we want to do is create a geo-based map of a gray terrain now here we can use satellite we could use you know um, a few different types of tips and tricks but you know for, for this demonstration we'll use satellite and then we want to um, create a geo plot that you know has the latitude coordinate of each city, the longitude coordinate of each city, and then these are just some um, extra things for clarity purpose. So we don't want to have any line. Um, we want to have a marker that's you know in the shape of an O, five, and so forth. So you know if, for example, I decided to eliminate this line style, we'll see a different type of graph, right? Um, and here we want to hold on because we have more than one city that we're plotting. So once we plot one city, we want to jump to the next one. Um, that's why I have hold on. And this piece of code here, you can just, you know, look at it, copy and paste. It's just to zoom in on the cities that we're looking at. And uh, lastly, I want to um, text, uh, produce a text on the map. So the text, it's going to be the city name, and that's why here I have text name. So, uh, the first two um, input argument is just the location, 
of where I want to have this text on the map. So I uh, basically want to have it where that city is going to be. So the latitude coordinate of that city, uh, and I want to offset it by a little bit so I don't cover up my, my circle over here. And the next input is the Y position, so the longitude coordinate. Um, and then I also want to offset it by this much. And then I need to put my text name, but um, the text function, it only accepts a race or cell. So I just needed to take my text name and change it from a table to an array. So this is what table to array does. Uh, and then from there, basically, I get to run my function again. And once I run it again, you'll see that I get um, my map. So this time we have a satellite and that's pretty much it for the demonstration. So if you have any questions, um, feel free to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. So basically this time we have a satellite, no longer a great terrain, with the markers and city names. Um, that's the difference and hope you guys learned something. I'll see you on the next one.